Clog Code is one of the most powerful dev tools ever created, and Clog Code's integration with GitHub is where things start to get crazy powerful. I'm especially excited about a feature that lets you mention at Claude on a GitHub issue, and Claude will then go create the pull request, fixing the issue or creating the feature for you. In this video, I talk about why I find the Claude code and GitHub integration especially exciting and walk through my experience getting it set up and using it to create a simple feature for my app. There's a ton of possible use cases integrating Claude code in GitHub. Some are really simple, like you could have Claude just automatically fix any tests or linter errors when you create a pull request. But I think the really exciting aspect is that GitHub Actions are going to be one of the easiest and most straightforward ways to scale Claude code agents. If you want to have 50 cloud code agents work on your issue backlog in your sleep, GitHub Actions are a very well documented and understood way to scale cloud agents and have those 50 agents work in the background. So in this video, I plan to just start simple and set up cloud code on my GitHub repository and create an issue, mention Claude, and have it create a pull request to implement a simple feature. This is a proof of concept before I start scaling up more agents on more advanced features. So I'm going to head over to my terminal and type the word Claude to start Claude code. I already installed it in my previous video, Claude code versus cursor comparison. But this time I'm going to type in this install GitHub app command. And I got these warnings or errors that the GitHub CLI was now found and that the GitHub CLI was not authenticated because I had not installed the GitHub CLI. So I did need to go and do that. That was easily done by following the link provided. I then ran the command again, and this time I was prompted to create an API key, which I did. And then I was prompted to authorize the Claude app to access my GitHub repositories. This was a standard OAuth flow. Overall, it took me just a few minutes to get ready to go. Though there was one more final step, which is Claude generated this pull request that configures the GitHub action. This defines what type of image, but you don't need to read it at all. You can just merge it and move on because the default configuration totally works. Now I do quickly want to show you what the app I'm actually changing is. It's a flashcard trainer for poker players. It's not important, but you can see that users can select either 10, 20 or 100 cards. I'm going to add 50 cards just for something to be really simple for Claude to do. So then I'm going to head back to my repository and create a GitHub issue describing the feature I want in the web app, allow the users to select 50 questions, and I'll create an empty issue, just the title, which is enough info for Claude. So then I just mentioned Claude, at Claude, can you do this? And I leave that comment. And it then did take a few minutes, and I wasn't sure if it was working. It took about two minutes to kick in but then it did kick in and Claude got to work I could view the logs and it's output in a JSON format which makes it a little bit tougher to read but of course it's also easier for a machine to parse if you want to diagnose what's going on so now let's verify this works if we head over to our pull request we see Claude did create a feature pull request that adds this 50 questions options which is really great and I also like using Next.js of our cell. I talked about that in my perfect SaaS stack video. I'll link in this video and it automatically creates preview deployments of any pull request. So you see, I can immediately go see a deployed version of the app that Claude just made and verify it looks good. Of course, I've also spent a lot of time improving my integration test suite so that I can chase this dream of having Claude create tons of PRs in the background and I'll be very quick to manually check them in this preview environment and the integration test will also add another level of confidence that the app still works. So as you can see this video was just a proof of concept setting it all up getting it hooked up to my repo having clog code generate those pull requests based on the issues. The dream is to scale this up more have an agent pull tasks from my backlog the work I need to get done on these projects and spin up a lot of pull requests at the same time as if I have 30 engineers working for me, even though they're all just Claude agents. So definitely leave a comment if you're interested in that follow-up topic or any other interesting stuff relating to Claude code or AI agents. I would love feedback on these videos. Thank you for watching.